Hey friends, Dave Burke is here. Welcome back to The Daily Work. And today we're talking about why you shouldn't hire for cultural fit. I know that seems uh, a little counterintuitive. There's a ton of stuff written about the importance of, of questions that are cultural fit questions. This started with tech companies, companies like Zappos, et cetera, that had the culture interview, this whole idea that after somebody is initially qualified for the job you know, on paper with the knowledge, skills, and abilities and the past experience that they need, after that, what matters is whether or not they're a culture fit with the organization because what's going to ensure their length of tenure, their ability to create value, their ability to get along with their coworkers, et cetera, is a cultural fit. Well, the problem with hiring for a cultural fit is that you don't actually get the level of diversity that you need to remain competitive. What you get instead is a bunch of people who look alike, act alike, think alike, and so they solve problems in the same way as well. What you want, instead of hiring someone, when you're at the hiring table, and this applies, by the way, whether you're the hiring manager, and even when you're interviewing for a job, if you're trying to figure out if it's the right culture for you, what you don't want is somebody you get along with, somebody you could go have a beer with, somebody who you share all these same sort of cultural ideas with. What you want is someone who can push back on your ideas cordially push back on them respectfully. Someone whose diversity of thought pushes your thought to higher levels of thinking. Now that's gonna require you change some of your interview questions, but that's what you ultimately want in a coworker, in a subordinate or follower, and that's what you want in a leader, is someone who doesn't agree with you all the time, who doesn't think like you, who doesn't act like you, who respects you and respects your difference of opinion, but pushes that opinion to further lengths. That's how we grow performance. That's how we solve problems better. That's how we actually get diverse organizations don't hire for cultural fit. Hire for respectful dissent. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Daily Burke. Leave a comment below. Let me know. You ever been in one of these cultural fit questions and a lot of times you realize pretty early that it's not for you and then the company loses out on the asset that is you. Let me know if that's ever been a situation for you or what your experiences with cultural fit interviews have been. While you're there, make sure you're followed or subscribed to the show. We post new episodes every single weekday designed to help you do your best work ever, whether you're a cultural fit or not, and I want to make sure you don't miss a single one. Thanks again so much for watching The Daily Work.